Warning, if you're sensitive, just scroll up. This kid is not for you. You have been warned. Pinocchio. I mean, the sad tale, that little boy that was kidnapped, brainwashed, drugged, who escaped his kidnapper, only end up in the middle of a child slavery and be only to be rescued by his kidnapper, pervert named Geppetto. I mean, that little boy? No, I mean the little boy that was made of wood. Geppetto kidnapped him, drugged him, brainwashed him, convinced him he was a wooden boy and that the outside world wouldn't accept him. The strings of the chains that bound him to the wall. Oh, him and Candlewick in the Pleasure Island and the mom turning the donkeys. He escaped his kidnapper and ended up in a child uh, slave rink. Candlewick was a boy leading other boys there. It's obvious right there. Look, it's all written right there. A place where they get kids all fucked up and then they end up in a fucking cage and sent off to be fucking slaves, man. It's all right there in the lines, all right? Candlewick got fucking betrayed and the kids that still could talk were, were fucking a term for the kids that still had fighting them that weren't broken and there was a special place for them. Geppetto ended up coming and saving him. What about the whale? The whale was a was, uh, nickname of the ringleader, so when Pinocchio escaped, obviously they're going to chase him and try to get him and Geppetto and get swallowed by the whales when they got caught, but they end up killing the whale and getting away. But he became a real boy! The blue fairy was the blue dress that the child protective service lady that rescued him was wearing and told him that he was a real boy. What about Jimmy Cricket? Kidnapped, brainwashed, all drugged up, chained to a wall. Wouldn't you make up an imaginary friend?